once you've downloaded the Thinkific app, the first thing you'll see is this home screen that will ask you to search for and type in your academy or organization name. My recommendation is I may call my school Learn with Jean, but it's easier to search based on the subdomain of your Thinkific school. So mine would be Engineering Creatively. So I would type in this search bar, Engineering Creatively. And then after I type in my school name, I would click on continue. And once I click on continue, the next step would be that it would take me to, it would populate search results of different schools that match what I put into the search bar. And so based on the results, I will search Learn with Jean, Engineering Creatively, and Thinkific is going to ask me to sign in. And now this part is where I highly recommend that you either use a password tool like LastPass, or I use 1Password because I think 1Password is more secure than using the built-in password saver in your device and or your browser. It's just more secure, they generate the kinds of password based on your request. So once you sign in, you can also use your Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn to sign in. So you'll sign in, you'll start to then log in and see your courses and communities. And so this is where the mobile learning experience is the oh, emphasis I'm from Thinkific. They really want to make it easy for your students to access content on the go, access recordings, text, and text lessons, and or any PDFs. Now, you'll notice when you log in, you'll see the courses that you're enrolled in, the courses that you have not completed. You'll also see your communities and you will see the communities posts and communities you're part of and or enrolled in. And so this mobile app has many different, has three different tabs. There is the home tab where it shows all your posts and it shows all your courses and communities. And then you can choose the learn tab and the learn tab is where you can choose from the courses that you want to continue and finishing off. And then there is the notifications tab where it will show up the push notifications are either off or on and you can enable. And the notifications section or tab is great because it'll show you all the updates in your courses and communities so that you never have to worry whether you've forgotten to do something or not because that's where the notification section serves. The beauty of this, I'm using the Think It Branded app, but if I want, I can choose to, as my business grows, brand the app according to my colors and logos. For demo purposes, I wanted to show you what it looks like. And then you'll also see I logged into a course to show which kinds of lessons are available. So in this demo course of the reverse engineering, I put in a PDF. And so you can see the PDF lesson is viewable on the mobile device. I can look through the rest of my lessons in the course and see what else I've missed. And you can see the live coaching call. Those live calls with Zoom are still being worked on, so it's not quite integrated fully into the mobile app, but you can view it on the web and or I recommend if you have any live coaching calls in a program to download all the schedule of events into your calendar so that you never miss it. Now, if you don't want to look at the live coaching call, you can always skip the lesson. You can see that the video lessons work. Hi friends. So I used an old video just to test out that the video is playable. And so you can get a sense from this demo of what kind of lessons work, what lessons aren't quite viewable on mobile, but basically it's a very general introductory mobile app to access lessons, to access communities and receive notifications. And as always, please send Thinkific any feedback if you have any thoughts and direction for this.